Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bim, and these are the Sony PlayStation Gold headphones. They don't look like you would expect them to, so these used to be black, I think. And this part, this part was blue, all of it. Uh, the, the pretty good headphones, but I have a couple major problems with them. One would be the this part, the blue part, it flakes off very easily. That's why I just kind of went to town and, and removed all that. Now it's kind of just yellow. It used to be kind of whitish, I guess, but dirt and all that. Um, the cups themselves, the, f the leatherette, were horrible. They were pretty bad. So eventually they first started fraying off. Uh, so I just removed them. And thankfully I found replacement cups from Lazada, about 350 pesos, and, and these are great, these are great. Well, well, there are a number of ways you could replace these cups. One would be just to find the replacement cups themselves, which come with this plastic brace, which uh, fits exactly here, or you could extract this plastic bit from your, from the originals and find foam that would fit on top of it, which is possible to do. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube do it, but I just, I found replacements, so that's good. The other really big complaint is that the default battery in this thing is about 570 milliamp hours, which isn't a lot. Um, the DualShock 4 has about a thousand, and this thing doesn't even last like a full gaming session, I guess, depending on how long your gaming session is. Like for three hours, it wouldn't even last you that long. So, today, I'm going to attempt to install this PS4 DualShock 4 replacement battery with 2000 milliamp hours into this thing. Let's see how that goes. Alright, so first you remove the cup. I think you just pop it off like that. So you put that aside, and then you have to take these things off. There's, I think, four screws. So we'll find a handy dandy screwdriver for that. So that wasn't cutting it, so we're going to use something like this. Nani? Oh, there's one more. There's one more here. There's five. Come up. Cool. All right, so now it pops off. So, so this is what we're working with, right there. Okay, so we have to remove this. Okay, so there's, it's, it's just, a, it clips in there. So you just gotta take that out carefully. You know what's weird? The battery's not on this side. I think, if I'm not mistaken, Batteries on the opposite side. God damn it. That's okay. Okay, so if you're doing this at home, if you're gonna try to do what I just did, um, it's on the right ear. Okay. Like this one, this side only has three. Yep, just three. Ah, oh, and there the battery is. Ah! Okay, so much like the other side, pull that off, put this to the side. Okay, pick up our screwdriver that fell, and the battery is 
right here. So, okay, if you see that, there's the same clip that theoretically, in theory, should be the same clip that this thing has. I forgot what it was called. I know it's called something, but I don't. I I, I researched it. I just forgotten. Uh, okay, let's let's open this thing up. Okay, so before you ask, yes, this is one of those Chinese knockoff um, batteries. Is it safe to use them? Eh, I don't know. Uh, I've been hearing on the forums that it's best not to cheap out on these things, on the batteries, because the cheap ones don't have uh, the, the PCB that tells the battery to stop charging. So it's there's a tendency to overcharge and to blow up in your ear. So maybe if you want to do the same thing I did, if you have like a spare DualShock 4, use that battery instead, but otherwise you could probably get them off Amazon or something. Uh, just don't cheap out on it. So, okay, so again, there's this thing, and this kind of plug here should be the same. Just gently pull it out. <clears throat> okay, so that's pulled out, and then this thing actually clips into, the battery clips into the, the plastic. So if I'm not mistaken, you have to kind of pinch it. Pinch it here and pinch it there. Okay, let me study this for a bit. All right, so it turns out I was having trouble because it does have a little bit of adhesive. So I just had to kind of force it out of there. Now, if you look at this battery, the size of this thing and the size of this thing, you could easily see that there is quite a bit of difference just in terms of thickness, right? And this thing has to sit in here flush because once we put this back on, I remember how to how to do that it won't actually it won't actually fit right because this thing is in the way so what we're gonna have to do is make room for this guy in there how are we gonna do that I don't know yet <laughs> hold on let me study that okay so I think the only solution I have right now would be because it sits on uh, this bit of plastic that kind of lifts this thing or it keeps it from touching the, the plastic base. Now I think if I could get rid of that, this should fit nice and flush there. So we're going to cut out the, those plastic bits. It's kind of hard to do with the camera in the way. So I'll cut... I'll show you how I'm cutting the first few bits, then, and then um, I'll probably do the rest off camera. I'm sure there's a much more elegant way of doing this, like with a Dremel or something, but I am not an elegant man. Apparently this is not an elegant process. I do have some sandpaper, so maybe after I'm done cutting all, all of this off, I will sand it down a bit. Alright, so I was able to take off most of the crap from here. Uh, now I'm just going to take some sandpaper and sand this down, make sure it's nice and smooth. Oh, and also before I forget, so I got this inspiration for this project from a YouTube video that I will be linking uh, in the description and if I can do that whole YouTube blinking thing on the screen so it should be somewhere here I'm gonna try to put it uh, just to, to you know to give that, that guy credit because it was his idea that I'm just kind of ripping off uh, so once you're satisfied with the smoothness of this and I think I'm I'm pretty satisfied there's nothing well it doesn't look pretty actually well, you know what wait there's a little bit more jagginess here. Let me get that. All right, so I'm pretty sure I've inhaled most of the crap here that I've generated, but now I'm pretty satisfied legitimately this time that everything's 
uh, smooth, nothing will puncture. Well, there's this little bit, god damn it. All right, legitimately now, I do feel like that is smooth enough. So I'm gonna take my battery, um, put it in there. Does it fit? Is it snug? It's raised a little tiny bit. Raised a little bit, just a little bit. If you see it isn't completely flush, just a little bit, but it was a, well, it's a lot better than it was a minute ago. Well, not a minute, probably half an hour ago. All right, so let's plug this thing in just to see if it works, right? Okay, so that's our on-off switch. And we're gonna move it to the on position. And that should light up. Yeah, boy, it's looking for a signal. All right, cool, so it works. But now, uh, let's see how we can put this back on snug, as snugly as possible. Okay, so I'll clean that crap up later. We're gonna connect that back uh, where it came from. So here. Okay. Huh, it's still a little thick. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let me study it. I'll be back. So, remember earlier in the video when I said I wasn't an elegant man? This is a ridiculously inelegant solution. So I got it th the foam back. But if you'll notice, it's not sitting super flush. Uh, you can't really see it on screen, I'm not sure, but there's a little bit of gap. So I was, I, I was able to, despite it not being super flush, I was able to put this back on, which probably is stressing the battery a bit. So I don't want this to blow in my ear. So what I call it a success, it turns on. Um, I'll try it out. If it turns on and it doesn't blow up, yeah, success. All right, so as I was testing it, I felt like the right ear was a little warmer, which kind of made me nervous because I don't want that thing blowing up in my ear. So I'll see what I can do to make this part a little lower. So this part's important because one, it holds the cup to this, the headband strap thingy. Uh, plus this is the cable that delivers power here. So we have to be careful not to, not to mess with this too much, but there's a lot of clearance that I can still get out of this. So let's see if that that'll help. All right, so I wasn't able to whittle it down any further, but as a compromise, what I did was I just didn't screw this part in as much. So there's a little bit of gap there just so I don't put too much pressure on the battery. Um, and when I do put it on, I do feel like there's a little more warmth on this side, but I imagine with a higher capacity that would be the case anyway so let's see if it so the playstation's on let's see if it connects when i turn it on blue dot blue dot come on baby yay yay it's connected all right so it works so if you want to replace your sony wireless gold wireless batteries with the PlayStation DualShock 4 batteries. It is possible to do. It won't be as pretty as you would hope it to be, but it works. And as long as it works and it is, as long as it doesn't blow up in your ear, eh, mission success. So maybe in a couple weeks after I've put it through its paces, I'll let you know if this thing actually exploded or not. I guess you'll hear about it like on my Facebook or whatever, but Let's see how it does in the next couple weeks. But for now, this has been BIM signing off. Thank you guys for watching.